to or welcome back to my channel. I'm Sydney and today I'm going to be filming a little chit chat get ready with me. Um, I kind of ended up with a Valentine's ex inspired look. Um, but yeah, if you want to see how I got this look or just go through the process of me figuring out what look I was going to do today, then just keep watching. So, I already have on foundation, and I put on my eyebrows. I used this L'Oreal Infallible Foundation in the shade 450. Now, we get to decide what we want to do with our makeup today. Let's start with putting on some bronzer. I'm going to use the e.l.f. Putty Bronzer. some of that on my face to give me a little bit of life. Okay. Get some more on there. This is kind of hard because it's like very small so as soon as it kind of goes down you have to like really dig in there but it's okay I really push that up into my hairline um just because I like how that looks That came down a little farther. It doesn't really matter for me how far it comes down. I don't I don't care that much as on the eyebrow, on the forehead area. It doesn't really stress me out too much wherever it kind of goes. It's not crazy dark or anything, so it's just kind of a little looks like you got a tiny little bit of sun, so nothing too crazy. Um, and then I like to do it under my chin. Which kind of creates a shadow a little bit and gives you a little bit more of a jawline if you're like me and your jawline is suffering. Okay. Then I like to take this little brush and dip it into the same putty bronzer and I just go on my nose. Um, I have a mirror right here, so it makes it a little bit easier than looking in the camera. And I go up my nose on each side. You kind of blend that out. I bring it right here. Uh, the sides, and sometimes I'll do a little bit like there, but it's all very soft. Like I said, it's not the it's not the darkest color. Um, I'll do a little bit right there too. Sometimes I do it on the top of my lip as well. It doesn't. It's kind of whatever I feel like doing that day. Okay, probably good on that. Um, sometimes I'll take this, I've used the heck out of this, but it's just an e.l.f. contour palette, and I actually liked, there was a shade right here that was a little bit lighter, and I preferred that, but I take the darkest shade, because that's where we're at, and sometimes I'll come in and like, more so darken it up, and make it more of a defined Kind of situation which I like that too it really just depends I'll usually do this if I'm going out you know to dinner or something out at night I'll usually do a little bit darker and then if it's just kind of in the day running errands I'll just do the putty bronzer but today we are just getting ready for fun so it doesn't matter 
what we do. The sun's kind of playing games with me and it's coming in and out. Before I started filming, it was actually very dark. I was gonna film in a different spot today, um, but it was way too dark. But of course, now that I'm doing it, it came out, but I'll take it. I'm happy to see it. Love the sun. I'm very much looking forward to summer this year. I do a lot of swimming and fishing and hiking and stuff, so try to find things to do in the winter, snowboard and stuff a little bit, but I definitely love summer. That's when I thrive, as many of us probably feel the same. Um, and then I take this, again, the same exact thing. I just do the exact same thing that I did with the putty bronzer, and I do it with the more dark contour shade. I'll kind of put it like right here too. And then that's kind of like aggressive on my nose. So I'll take this lighter bronzer and mix it in and use a bit bigger brush. And I'll just kind of blend that a little bit. Cause you don't want it to look like you have two lines on your face when you go out into the world. I try to keep it very subtle cause yeah, you don't want to just be like, oh wow, there are two dark lines right on your nose. Okay, that's really good as far as bronzer and contouring goes. Let's do some, let's do some eyeshadow. Um, today I'll probably use, I'm gonna do all drugstore makeup. I need to go and shopping and get a whole bunch of new stuff, but I'm just using the stuff I have right now. Um, and I actually really like this chocolate palette. It's just, uh, I got this from Walmart and then, um, probably use a little bit of this Wet n Wild palette I also got from Walmart. Don't mind my nails, they've chipped off terribly. Let's go in with, sometimes I like to take my, I like to take my bronzer shade. Um, just the Revlon Skin Lights one that I've been using. And one fifteen sun kissed beam. This is a very subtle bronzer. It's not it doesn't have a ton of impact, but it looks nice and soft and pretty. Um, and then I like to just take that and put it kind of all over my crease. To just kind of give me a base that will kind of blend nicely into my makeup outside of my eyeshadow. So I'll just do that first and that gives me kind of a starting point or something off my Okay. I'm really looking forward to spring. Like I said, I'm looking forward to spring and summer, but I'm also big into gardening. Um, last year I pretty much dedicated my entire garden space to a um, pollinator garden. It turned out really good. Um, maybe I'll put some pictures of that in here. <laughs> basically did one of my raised beds all pollinator flowers um and then I did I have a big section a uh, dirt section that I do um and I did that entirely pollinator flowers too it was really awesome I would go sit out and watch the butterflies and bees and stuff come in so I loved that so I definitely want to do something like that this year um and then in my other beds I did cut flowers and herbs um, and strawberries um so I love doing that I think I'm definitely gonna show you guys when um, the snow melts a bit there's like three feet of snow on my whole garden right now so it's not the time I could maybe put some pictures in if I have some um, but I think in my dirt I have a dirt patch if you will and that's when I did the I did wildflowers in that last year 
But I think I'd rather do something different this year and I can't decide. Part of me thought about just doing like all clover because that's still great for pollinators. Um, but then I just kind of have this like, I can put my chair out there and then watch the bees and butterflies come to my other beds. Um, and my garden's like a fenced off area from my yard. To keep, it keeps my dogs and things like that out. Um, but I also thought about doing a sunflower circle. I've wanted to do this for a long time. I always plant sunflowers every year and they do really well here. Um, but I, I thought about doing the circle. I can't decide. If you have any thoughts, I'll show you. If I can find a picture, like I said, I'll put it up. It's not like it's not a big area. Um, but I just like to do something different there each year. Um, the first year we lived here, I did um, squash. I did a whole bunch of squash and that went insane. But that was too much. That was. That was kind of, I don't know, it made it a little crazy. Um, but yeah, I think I might do something more chilled, like a little bit easier to maintain this year. Cause like the wildflowers I did, um, I did a large, I'll do a wildflower mix. I did, a, I threw a wildflower mix in there and then I did some specific ones. But I mean, some of them grew like four or five feet. Um, and plus with the sunflowers, it gets a little crazy sometimes. So I might want something a little bit more simple and then do a lot of herbs, but I adore my pollinators. So I definitely will continue to do that as well. But yeah, there's that. I hope to show you guys a lot of what I'm doing with my garden this spring. If you're into that sort of thing, I'll be posting a lot of different stuff. So I'm sure there's something you might find interesting. Also, maybe not. <laughs> Okay, so I think that I'm going to go in with this shade right here, um, hidden, and I think I'll do that all over my crease. Uh, and then maybe we'll go in with... Let's go in next with this um, kind of warm brown color. It's called Adventurous. And we'll put that in kind of the same place. I'm just kind of building that up a little bit. Building my crease up a bit and giving it a little bit more definition. I'm just kind of playing around today, so I don't really have any plans. Maybe I'll use, I have this Maybelline Unstoppable Eyeliner in Cinnabar. Um, I actually got this to use on my eyebrows when my hair was red earlier this year. I think I miss my hair being red. I think that was my, I think that was my color. Um, maybe, I think I'm going to put this um, eyeliner on. The struggle of the century trying to make your wings look the same on both sides. But I am going to take this little liner brush and kind of smudge it out a bit. I also am looking forward to getting some more house plants this year. I have quite a bit, but I was going to film in front of them today so I could kind of show you, but like I said, the sun situation was a little iffy, um, but I'll show you sometime. I would like to get some more. I actually, some of them became victims this year, um, as far as I didn't take that much care of them this winter. I got of care of my plants this winter. I like hardy plants, so they get kind of cold out if they're too big of divas. 
in the winter time. Let's go in with this shade here in Lionheart. It's a really pretty, like, mauve pink color. It's really pretty. Um, I think I'll put that on my... Hmm, should I put that all over my lid or should I put it under my... Because I'm almost liking the, like, super simple look of my eyelids today. Um, let's just do it. Whatever. Whatever, am I right? It's not that serious. Hmm. I almost liked it better before. But we'll... If I had known I was going to do this, I would have done this before. My eyeliner, but whatever. We can go back in and kind of clean it up a little bit. Nothing we can't fix. I'm getting ready to go nowhere today. I don't really have anything crazy to do today i am going to a paint and yoga night on friday so i'm looking forward to that we'll be doing like watercolor painting and then yoga i mean what more could you ask for in an evening friends not much more honestly i think maybe i'll take this groovy shade and bring it like in my crease area a little bit we're just like going through something right now so don't take this to heart but i'm just kind of wanting to play a little bit today put that in there a little bit like i said i'm not going anywhere i just i think it would be fun to Maybe we'll bring those together, like, that line and the wing a little bit. Hmm. What do you think? I think I need to blend that out a little bit. Um, I just went in with the bronzer shade again. I just go back to this when in doubt. Like, if things are looking a little funky, I just take this and just start blending. And I'm telling you, it will be okay. It will be okay. I know, I'm gonna, I'm, I keep going back in with this, but. I'm gonna take a little bit more of that Lionheart shade that we put all over and I'm just gonna kind of clean it up with a brush a little bit. <clears throat> I haven't even, I don't even think I've used these shimmers with a brush before, but they're going on fine with one. I feel like I need a little bit more on the crease area. Let's take, let's take maybe this brush. Let's just grab the groovy shade again and kind of just get a little more aggressive with her. It doesn't even matter. Okay, we'll place it down with that and then we'll take this brush a little bit bigger and kind of blend that out a bit. That's kind of fun. Maybe I'll take that groovy shade underneath my eyes a little bit too. You see that? Not all the way just to the center of my eyes. Okay. So make sure you get that blend it long enough. I am not a professional. You know that. You know that just from watching this. But um just having fun today so if you're watching this good on ya 
good on you from being here. I actually, I feel like there are people who will hate this, but I like videos like this. I just like watching people chill, do their makeup in kind of a relaxed, more of a relaxed setting. Um, it's something I like to watch, but maybe somebody out there is weird like me and likes this sort of stuff. Let's go ahead and I think that I'll leave my eyes for now. I think that, I think that actually looks okay. Um, and then let's do some blush. I'm just going to use the Milani Baked Blush um, in Dolce Pink. I think that will be kind of fun. So I just take it in here. I'm aggressive with it, and I'm gonna bring it up here. Um, but I do like this shade, it's nice, and, and it kinda goes with that um, pinky color, the Lionheart shade that we used on my lids. So that looks good. There was a time that, I don't know if you remember this, back in the day, in the olden days of like, I don't even know, years ago, um, a big Valentine's trend was to do like pink and brown, <laughs> but that's like kind of what I'm doing, that's kind of what I ended up doing today, accidentally, but everyone used to do like their nails and stuff, pink and brown. I'm also going to bring a little bit up here onto my forehead and my chin area. I'm even going to feel a little bit on the nose. Okay, and then a lot of the time after I do my eyeshadow, I'll come in with my foundation brush. I'm just going to use like a leftover foundation. I kind of clean up that area where my blush and stuff under that. My makeup always rubs off my chin, so I'll kind of do that too in that area. I have the too much jean, so I like to ruin things by not letting it go and just calling it good when it's good. Um, I have these little, um, Stick on gems. Maybe I can put one of those on today. That might be something fun. Yeah. Eyebrows. Okay, let's do. Let's throw some mascara on. Yeah. I think that might be a good next step for us. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and curl my lashes. I'm gonna laugh if I watch this back and you just like can't even see me the whole time because I'm looking in that mirror. I'm so sorry. Okay, let's go ahead and put on some mascara. I'm trying to do everything drugstore. Um, but I always like to mix mascara, so let's do the Maybelline New York the Colossal Big Shot, just to, I just like to put something on gently first and then we'll go in with the L'Oreal Paris Voluminous Original over top of it to give it a little bit of spunk. Immediately now. Okay. I don't know if any of you watched Shits Creek, that's what I was thinking, immediately now. Um, does anybody else feel like we should have just kept that going forever? It's like, does much happen? No, it just makes me feel good. And that's the nice thing. It's nice to just watch an easy watch sometimes. That isn't so, like, depressing and stressful. I swear, some of the shows I watch, I, like, end up freaking overwhelmed from the amount of stressful stuff that happens. It's nice just to watch something 
chill and funny. <clears throat> if you're happy to watch this and you have any recommendations for something like Schitt's Creek, please leave it in the comments because I could really use something new to watch. Okay, there's my first coat of mascara. I'm gonna pop on a little bit more lip gloss. This is the this is the Too Faced lip injection the lip gloss, but this isn't part of the video. This is just I need some lip gloss. Okay, let's go in with another layer of mascara, of course. I never really wear false lashes unless I'm doing something significant. So I, I mean, my lashes are like, they're not too bad. So I normally just wear my natural lashes everywhere I go. But I used to wear falsies a lot. I have been thinking about getting eyelash extensions. I've had them before. I haven't had them in a long time though. I have been thinking about it, but I used to kind of get, I kind of like putting mascara on and stuff like that. And it's hard to do eyeshadow and stuff, I feel like, when you have lash extensions. Um, and eyeliner and things, so, I don't know. But it would be nice just waking up with beautiful eyelashes. But yeah, I used to have them, um, but that was kind of my pet peeve with them, was putting on, I like putting on my eyeshadow and eyeliner and stuff, and you can still do it, but it, it just kind of gets all over them. Um... But I don't know, we'll see. Maybe I will get some. Okay. Uh -huh. I put it on the bottom lashes, but I just tap it on. I don't even like drag it down or anything. But yeah, my bottom lashes are actually pretty long. Um, so I try not to set them free with too much free reign because they're crazy. So I just tap the mascara on them. The sun keeps changing a little bit. It's honestly nice seeing it. It was really dreary this morning, so. I'm happy it came out. I wish I was doing something exciting today to talk to you about, but I'm really not. I'm probably not even gonna leave my house today. So yeah. I don't know if you can see that very well. I think it actually looks pretty good. The eyeshadow, we didn't know it was, we didn't know. It, it was going in a weird direction for a time. Maybe I'll add a tiny little gem. I can't decide. Maybe, I'm like, maybe I'll add a tiny little gem at the end of my little, my little wings. We'll put them on and if we don't like it, then who cares? You know, who really cares? Let's try it. If we hate it, we hate it. Do we hate it? No, I think it's kind of fun. Would I wear this out? No. To, I mean the little gems, no. I actually bought these because I went to uh, um, Chargers Broncos game a few months ago. And of course I put them all over my face for that, but would I wear this just out for every day? No, I probably wouldn't. But people definitely do. Maybe I should just be more confident and rock it. Cause I, Cause nobody like doesn't like little gems. Like if you tell me that it's not sparking joy, then I don't know if I believe you. Oh, the hard thing is getting those like in the same spot as each other. Is that fun? Do we like that? Okay, well, I don't think they're perfectly even, I'm not going to lie with you, but I don't want to keep pulling them off and putting them back on because, yeah, then something bad will happen. I'm telling you. Okay, I'm going to, like, drag that out to it a little bit more. Is that fun? I think it's fun. Okay. Something else I like to do is add a bit um, more blush. Maybe I'll pop on a 
little bit of lipstick very softly. Um, we'll do like, I had this red in here. It's kind of Valentine's y. Um, what is this? Rimmel London lipstick in shade 111. Let's pop a little bit of that on there. Couldn't hurt, could it? We've already come this far. This could escalate out of control very easily. I'm probably gonna have to put some powder on my um, chin because I have this problem where I like all the time and I always get lipstick on my chin. So that is another reason that I refrain from using it a lot of the time, but. Did that add something good or no? Well, at the end of the day, it's kind of fun looking. Let's add a little bit of a highlight color to my nose. Okay, I'm gonna go in with this Wet n' Wild color icon. Call Me Sunshine palette, and I just take this. I've been using this bunch, just this bit color basically, but I really like it on my on my nose. I think it looks really good as a highlight. It's aggressive, but it looks good, I think. And then we'll take that on my inner corners too. If you're thinking that this is a very chaotic makeup look, then me and you, we're thinking the same thing. We're thinking the same thing. Okay, well, I think that's everything. I think that, I think it turned out pretty good. I don't know if it's picking up the same on the camera as it is in real life, but I think it looks pretty nice. If you can kind of see that. Okay, well, this is the final look. Yeah, I think I like it. Um, it's kind of Valentine's inspired, but I think that it looks pretty nice. Um, it's nothing too wild, but it's kind of fun with the gems and stuff. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for watching. Thank you for spending time with me and hanging out with me as I do my makeup today. Um, if you want to, you could like this video and subscribe, but I'm not gonna make you do anything you don't wanna do. But I will be posting more videos um, of makeup and like I said, my garden and all sorts of fun things. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for watching. You guys have a great day. See you, bye.